Hey folks, it's Ben. I'm here at Box Auto Parts in Sherwood Park, Alberta, right outside of Edmonton. Hitting a couple cars here while I was working on the old APV. Buick Riviera. This is the style of car that I would actually love to own at some point in time. Now, usually I don't film cars I can't find the RPO code stickers for. I don't actually know where this one is located. It's not in the glove box, not in the trunk. So I'm a little lost on that. So, And it's not here either, but uh, we can take a look at the build date here. And we are uh, talking manufacture date of 5 of 95. So it is a 95. So not the last model of the year, but pretty close. What personal luxury? Oh no, I <laughs> can't sit in it. Too far forward. But, uh, oh, look at all the electronics underneath the uh, rear seat. Um, I wonder if my codes are under here somewhere. But yeah, there's some electronics in the back. This is gonna have a supercharged 3.8 liter. Series two, probably. Oh gosh. <laughs> Sweet radio, missing a knob though. Um, and a lot of electronic climate control. So there's no RPO codes in the glove box. So we're gonna look there. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> that's and then we have a CD player down here too. And then cup holders with whoa, look at that. Keys for it, maybe. Run start lock accessory on the key fobs there. Um, no sticker to indicate how many. Okay, what's this? Tom Foolery. Oh, wow. So nice. And extend, please. <laughs> Just luxury. Oh, that won't work. Out, up, in, up. You got, uh, you probably put your door remote in there. And light switches and same on that guy. Oh goodness. So we got two power windows. Um, locks. And then this stuff. Left and right, so that's mirror control, electric mirrors for sure. Uh, cool vents in the door so that it comes through here. There's some fuses that live in there, good for it. Oh. What? It's in very clean condition. Your headlights. Dim control, auto max. You have your massive unit stock right there. Programming band, radio controls on the wheel. Like I say, nice fancy leather seats, huge doors. What a neat, huge doors. Personal luxury, right? It's got that cool like covered dash assembly that comes out. It kind of curls the inside so you're like in your car type of deal. Um, we got all sorts of compartments here. What's this? Oh, hmm. that's neat. And they got some relays buried in here. Ignition control module. I noticed the intake's in the trunk too, so I don't know what's going on here. Uh, probably lost the transmission is what it did. Traction on off, and then there's a trunk release in the uh, glove box there too. And the passenger has their own temperature controls. So that's pretty cool. Fuel door, trunk for the driver. Nice. So, fairly pimped out car. Of course it is, it's a high-end Buick, and of course that won't open for me. Trunk is humongous, uh, but like there's a mass airflow unit there, and like a little deeper, there's an upper intake. No sticker on the trunk, and no sticker on any of the trunk lids. Tail light assembly is nice. I just never liked this styling here on the Riviera. I always thought it could be bigger, you know? If it could be just, it seems very small. We've got power antenna on it. Very crisp looking car. And back here, you've got your tie rods. That's okay, it's not Cadillac. Ooh, that is not good news right there. We have got some uh, rust issues. Yeah, so it's gorgeous on the outside. It's like my Grand Prix, it looks great on the outside. Inside though, having some issues. Shocks could, discs. Um, we've got some around the door handle. Somebody took or broke the mirrors. Power passenger seat, that's fantastic. Alternator in the back, okay, sure. Uh, like I said, power trunk release off. Neat, you can just turn it off. Ooh, covered door power port, that's fancy. Other than that, you have your warmer cooler. I'm guessing that's electronic display for that. 
cool. Someone has window, frameless windows. Someone has taken the portals, stickers. Oh wow, say la vie. And the grill. And I gotta see if I can swipe some emblems here. Yeah, <laughs> it's stripped. It's all missing the ICM, I know. They cut that right off. They took the supercharger, it looks like, out of this guy. So there you have your 3800 Series 2 lifter valley and water pump still there it looks like it's been changed at some point and your belt diagram looks hand drawn on the isn't there there is not a drawing diagram of where but the key is is like if you're a mechanic look at all the space you've got in here it's like crazy you've got you can almost you know you can see the ground right there dual fans relays AC, so fairly easy car to work on as well as being amazingly luxurious and stuff like that. So it's a real bachelor car here, bachelor mechanic or something like that. Five and 95, so yeah, that's gonna be a 1995 Buick Riviera. You guys have any questions? I could probably shoot the VIN and get some info from that, right? Now tell me model year, plant of assembly, other tasty GM information. If you have any comments or questions, feel free. Box Auto Parts is where this one's at. I love them. I'd like to find a used one that's not rusted out. But uh, if you guys have any other questions or stuff, it's cool. How bad are we underneath here? Uh, got some dents. Uh, crusty along the rockers again. And cat's been cut out. I think they cut those out right away. Anyway, cool. If you guys have any questions, I already said that. Thanks for watching.